Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher. This is Smisher. Welcome to Sea Rad. Today we're going to do a little fashion show to see what clothes fit the mini Grogu. So stay tuned. Sea Rad. Hi, everybody. <laughs> well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. I rebodied one of the mini Grogu's the other day, and we've got Smisher out of it. How stinking adorable is it to have a little mini Fisher? And one of the things I was going to do on that video was show you what kind of clothes would fit him, but then Amazon kind of messed up, and they all showed up late. But some of them are here now, so we are going to do a little Smisher fashion show. Show you the things that work, show you the things that don't work, or tell you the things that don't work. And yeah, we will pick our favorite outfit for him in the end. So Fisher, I am going to have to set you to the side. Are you good with that? I'm totally good with that. <laughs> Alright, my little dude. Boop. We will see you in a little bit. So the first outfit that arrived actually arrived right as I got done filming his video the other day. It's this cute little Hawaiian top and shorts by a company called Whalemire. So gonna show you what's good and what's bad about that one. So got the shirt, as you can see, much smaller than the one that he has on. And he already has the shorts on because I had to try them on. These actually are pretty decent, but let's get this off of you, dude, so we can show them how the shirt fits. This is one of Groot's shirts that Smisher has pretty much stolen. <laughs> so, got my little Incredible Hulk dude. That's what I call him. I, I should name you Bruce. Bruce? <laughs> because he does have, like, this Incredible Hulk body. Very, very bulky at the top, kind of thinner at the bottom. But, like I said, the shorts fit really good. They are a good short length. They're not, like, really tiny short. And then the shirt is Velcro in the front. So it does go on him very super easy. Even getting it over his big Grogu hands. But, because he is a little puffy in the chest... Getting the shirt on him. Oops, and I even have I have your uh, braid down there, dude. Let me get that out. Let's get your braid out. Let's try that again. Take two. <laughs> Gonna leave that in there. All right, braids out. Velcro you up along the front, and it does look pretty pretty decent on him. He he looks a little bulky. It could be the hair. The hair is pretty bulky too, <laughs> but. It fits, it's just a little bit snug, a little bit short. He's kind of got a little half half shirt belly thing going there. But it is workable. So this is an outfit for a 20 centimeter plush from a company called Whalemire. They had no reviews, so I just kind of bit the bullet and said, yep, let's do it, let's see if it fits. But what I really like about it is that the shorts fit and instead of being shorts they're they're kind of like a pair of boxer shorts for little smisher here <laughs> super super adorable now all the clothes if they would fit the normal beanbag grogu's i i think we're probably about the same width wise around they might be a little bit smaller up top so it might fit them a little bit good but that would be super super short because this dude is only about that much taller than the actual beanbag ones. So size-wise, length-wise, he's pretty comparable. So putting it over the robe would not be an option. Definitely would be too bulky on that one. But we'll see what else we can find here. The next few things I got are also for 20 centimeter plush. And they're from a company called Ni Niani House. But that's how it's spelled. They do sell on Amazon. I decided to kind of get a couple of t-shirts just to fit them and see how they work on little Smisher here. They look like they're going to be short. Again, they are not Velcro, so we are going to have to kind of work it up over his little buff body there. 
but these are supposed to be for 20 centimeter plush I really don't see how they would fit a 20 centimeter plush unless you're like really really squishing that plush together but trying to get it on him luckily he has the armature which allows him to move pretty easily Getting this side on. Once you have one side on, it's great. Once you try to put the other side on, this is still easier than dressing the new emos. <laughs> but yeah, I think we are definitely going to be a half shirt, dude. Which, you know, could in theory work. <laughs> it's cute. Don't get me wrong they're just a little bit shorter than my liking. I like kind of baggy things on my Grogu's. You know, Fisher likes the baggy clothes. He has some things that are fitted like this, but if this was just about that much longer, it would be perfect. But this was a set of two t-shirts. I got the black one, and then there is a white one, I believe, as well. Yep, there's a little white one in a plastic bag in there. And for the two shirts, it was $12.90. Still not sure what things I'm keeping, what things I'm not keeping on these, but as, a, as of right now, I'll probably keep the shirts. They'll be good for underneath things, little undershirts, but still not long enough for my liking. The next outfit I got was also from Nayani House, and this one has a cute little sweater, and I think a pair of jeans, or jean shorts, I should say, and it comes with this hat which I'm hoping to be able to cut ear holes in and see if it's big enough for him. It, it's huge. The, the clothes are tiny. <laughs> the hat is huge. Now I know the plushes that they make this for have these big heads, but they have bigger bodies too. And then just a little pair of jean shorts. And they come with these cute little hair clips, which I will have to find some way to work with Olivia. And I think that was all that was in that one. Ooh, there was a hair clip in with the t-shirts as well. So, gotta keep all those hair clips so I don't lose them. But we are going to take this off of Smisher and put the other outfit on and see how it looks. And here is the next outfit, guys. Now those are some short shorts <laughs> with a sweater. Which, I bought the sweater because it kind of reminded me of Grogu's robe and I thought it would be super cute. I'm not real thrilled with this outfit. Maybe with a different pair of pants, it might be a good sweater because it is long enough. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one yet or not. So I'm not going to cut any holes in the hat to see if it would fit over his ears. I'm, I'm sure it will. I mean, it's, it's big enough that if I do this, <laughs> yeah, it kind of fits over his ears a little bit. So I, I think the hat would be cute if I decide to keep this outfit. If I do, I will take a picture of it and put it on Instagram. I'm just, I'm not 100% sure on this one. Like I said, definitely not with these shorts. These shorts are awful. They were awful to get on. And yeah, and I'm, I don't know if I'm really, really crazy about the neck on this one either. But I did get a third outfit, also a 20 centimeter plush outfit from the same company, the Nyani House. And this one has, it's got like a cardigan sweater. So we're going to try that on. It comes with a couple other fun things. It comes with a blue hoodie, which is like this like silky material. I can already tell it's going to be way too short on dude. Comes with a little bag. The actual reason I bought this one was for these shorts that come with it or pants or whatever they are and I'm looking at them and they look like they're sewn pretty bad. I don't know, just got folded up because these looked a little longer. They look a little stretchier. So these are actually the whole reason I bought this outfit. I thought the cardigan was cute too, but I thought those looked a little bit longer than some of the other shorts online. And then it comes with this really silky soft beret too. It's really soft kind of velvety. So yeah, let's try this outfit on Mr. Smisher. Fix your glasses there, dude. <laughs> and see how it looks. And here's this outfit. I actually really, really like this one, except for the hoodie. The hoodie is awful. 
It's way too short. It was almost impossible to get on. This little bag, I mean, I can't really put it as a crossbody on Smisher, so th the bag is kind of useless at this point. So I actually have another hoodie outfit ordered from the same company that hasn't shown up yet, so I know definitely that one's going back. But that one I'm going to keep because the outfit is really, really super cute. Actually, the t-shirts that I got would look really cute underneath this sweater. It's very Halloween-y. And I love the pants, which is the reason I bought these. And the hat. I just kind of set it on top of there. <laughs> just it's a little beret, but I could pin that to his hair or put little elastics on it to keep it on him. And it's super, super adorable. So this one is definitely a keeper. The sweater is not as short as I thought it was going to be. And I think it's adorable. And that's all I have from that company right now. I did order another set that said it was for like 14 to 16 inch dolls. I forget how much it said how big they were. But when I was reading the reviews, people were saying it ran really small. And the reason I ordered it was actually for there was a pair of shorts in there that I thought were going to be really, really good for pants for this guy. So we're going to try those on here in a second. I just want to say the sets that I got, they were each about like $16 to $20 for the sets. This one, again, totally worth it. I will put all the links in the description of the video of the stuff I got because, you know, some people might like what I don't and vice versa. So yeah, if you want to check any of them out for yourself, you can. This outfit is definitely a Halloween winner for me. I love it. So super cute. I have some more sweaters like this coming for him too that I got from AliExpress. So hopefully they're the same size and they fit just as well. And the t-shirts underneath will work perfectly. But let's grab those other outfits. Everything is in this bag here. It was a company called Yay Yay or a brand called Yay Yay. And I just looked at it. It says 13 to 15 inch bears. But again, I pretty much only bought it for the one thing. So this are the outfits that came with it. I wanted it for those shorts. I think the other pants are going to be definitely way too long on little Smisher here. Yeah, definitely. And these are not elastic waists, at least this one. This one has Velcro in the back. So I think these might be able to be modified into a really cute pair of pajama pants. And then the yellow shirt that comes with it, that's Velcro up the back. That's about the size of the one that I had on him already. Something weird going on with the sleeves. They're all bunched up and it's not even elastic. It's like they're sewn all bunched up, which is really weird. This is also a really weird nylon-y type material. So not sure if I'm going to do that one yet. This is the other pair of pants. They are an elastic waist. So I think if we roll these up, maybe cut them off and roll them up, they would work kind of well with little Smisher here. He's got a little sleeveless top that Velcros up the back. This is like a basketball shirt. And then this was a shirt I was hoping would be really cute, but it's also that weird nylon-y type material, almost like a sports like basketball jersey. But I thought that would be cute if I can get the collar to work correctly on them. And yep, that one Velcro's up the back too. And then these are the shorts. They are an elastic waist, which is awesome. I thought these were cute. And I think these are going to work perfectly as pants for Little Smisher there. And then he's got this little sleeveless hoodie, which might work. I like that one. And then he's got a little flannel -y type shirt. Red, white, and blue. I think that might work on him too. So Smisher, let's get you undressed here. Try some of this stuff on you. I actually want to start with these. Just because I said if we roll them up, they might work. I want to see how the waist feels on him. He's like, dude, this is going to go all the way up to my neck. <laughs> yeah. Definitely too long in the pants. A little kind of baggy balloonish too, but like I said, I like my stuff oversized. Yeah, definitely think even rolling them up 
not real great. So, and these are a weird material too. So definitely a no on these pants. These are the ones that I'm hoping will work. Elastic waist. Let's see how these work on you, buddy. I think lengthwise they're going to be pants length, not short length. Oh yeah, these are like perfect. These. These are the pants I am looking for. They're, they're a little high. He's got a little Urkel going on. But if you cover it up with clothes, then it will definitely, definitely, you know, be worth it. Let's try this on you. I want to see how big this tank top is on you, dude. So a little big and oversized. I actually kind of like it. Fold it up a little bit. And voila, we have a shirt that works. That's pretty cool, dude. That works pretty good on you. Let's put this on over top of that and see how that works. Little long on them, but again, the big oversized look is something that I think is really, really cute on these guys. Oh, uh, I think we have a winner here, bud little long i know his feeties are kind of hiding underneath there but i've got shoes too guys so stay tuned don't don't tune out yet we've got shoes and you know what i am going to try this on over top of it just because i want to see how this looks all together oh yeah we've got an outfit with some style here Got the hoodie with the flannel underneath. We got like a little 90s grunge boy going. I love it. <laughs> Not sure what that patch is supposed to be, but okay, it's cute. We can always cover that up with something too. But how adorable, guys. I love it. Little long in the back. Very, very cute in the front. What is it? Business in the front, party in the back. And since I really like this outfit and I don't think I'm going to try anything else from that set on him, we're going to do the shoes, guys. And the reason I waited to do the shoes is because, as cute as they are, how adorable are these? They are a real pain in the high knee to get on and off the feet of these guys. <laughs> and I don't know if these are going to fit over the 3D feet at all because they are pretty small. They fit on these feet good. It's just getting them onto these feet. So to do it, you pretty much have to almost completely unlace the entire thing pull that as far as you can smash his little foot in there and then pull the laces tight and to make sure his foot's in there and he's standing right before you tie it up because if not they will just pop right off and the shoes are all tied up they are on him. I finally got them to stay. They kept falling off as I was trying to tie them. I'm not sure if the other ones I ordered are going to be a little bit bigger, but these are also from that Nyani house. They are the 20 centimeter plus shoes, which are the biggest shoes that they have. I have a pair of 18 inch like American Girl doll shoes ordered to see if there's any difference on those. They, they might be a little bit bigger, which might help just a little bit with the ease of getting them on and off. But I think we have a winner on your outfit, dude. A little grunge boy. I love it. You are so super cute. What do you guys think? So this set of clothes, which I bought just for the shorts pretty much, and hey, I got an extra shirt out of it, or three, $8.99 right you cannot beat that for nine dollars i got a really really cool outfit for smisher that maybe these pants might work with some of the shorter i'm gonna try it with that shorter tan sweater that i did so hopefully that'll work out and i will let you know i'll post pictures on instagram of his little fashion shows <laughs> but Hopefully that helps you out. I do have a few more things ordered that are on the way. Like I said, I ordered the red hoodie from that same Nyani house. And if it's anything like the blue hoodie, it's definitely not going to fit. I have a couple more larger things ordered as well. It looks like the 20 centimeter plush stuff is going to be just a little bit small for these guys. Unless you get like the exact perfect outfit. And if you can find 30 centimeter plush that would probably work give you a little bit of a baggier or if you can find something for like a 10 to 12 inch teddy bear 
those might work too. I've been searching everywhere and trying to grab what I can just to help you guys out, but I hope this video does help you guys out a little bit. But anyway, hopefully we will have more stuff to show you soon, but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future or just get some fashion tips, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right, smishy smish? We'll see you later.